What, what are you drinking, man? Some kind of liquor and orange uh, fruit crystals they mix up. Huh. What are you drinking? Drinking a, a real drink. Ricky, what the fuck do we smoke, man? Like, seriously, I told you, if we're ever doing these fucking podcasts, I'm not smoking, like, that crazy shit. Are we starting? I didn't even know we were starting. Yes. What? We're started. Okay, well, it's still part of the 20 days of 420, and we're a little banged up, but we're here. We were just waiting for you to do your, your shit. Uh, okay, hey, what's going on, everybody? This is the official Trailer Park Boys podcast. It's coming at you right now. This is episode... What is it? See, episode? fucking, you never what? know. You never it's 39. Know. You insist on being the guy that announces the fucking thing, but you never know what number it is. Well, okay, well, he'll make sure it's the right one. It's 29 or 39 or 40. All right. Well, are you, you going to do your fucking thing? What thing? You always do the, I'm waiting for you. Yeah, we're waiting for you to do your thing you fucking do every week. What do, what do you, I don't do You this. fucking talk about this shit, and then I but fucking I don't talk about that at all. Week. Every week, you fucking no, go, Jukasa, and hold one of these up. I don't know what you're saying, man. I don't do it, I've done it a couple times, but I don't do it every week. And that's... Listen to this. That's bullshit. You always get the guests to say, oh, Jukasa, Jukasa. Who does? You do. For weeks, he's been, he did this deal with these Jukasa people, and he's telling us he doesn't make money. And every week he's been trying to get the guest to say, Jukasa. He says it like that. How, how do I say it? I don't know. We always try to make it sound right fancy, Jukasa. That sounds dumb. It's stupid. Right, that's, that sounded good. All right. We can start now. Are you going to do it? No, you guys just did it. So I don't have to do it now. Thank you. Thank you for, you know, so participating you, in you us trying to make Jedi some Jedi mind fucked us. Well, I'm just Great. saying, I've been doing all the work with this shit. Great. Every podcast... You, guys you know what, we got to cut all this out because we have a fucking awesome guest here who's just <clears> sitting <throat> here going, what in the fuck are these guys talking about? I'll stop being a dick. It was a really slow start because you fucked it up, but now we're good. Now we're good. We've got a fucking awesome guest on the podcast today. We fucking do. Got a CD right here. This is Matt Anderson right here. How you doing, Matt? Good, man. How you doing? Good, man. Fucking incredible. <laughs> That's his new, oh, got her upside down. That's the new CD right there, Honest Man, it's called. That came out when? February? February. Right and it's fucking awesome. It's it tearing it up. And you're on tour in the U.S. as I well. Am. Starting tomorrow. Awesome. So, yeah, check out his dates and come out and see this guy. It's unbelievable. Where can people get this site? Everywhere. Everywhere. I hope. Everywhere Jucasa is sold. Nice. Uh, you know, thanks, man. No problem. Thank you, brother. So you made a side deal with him. <laughs> you know, we had a little chat about it. He's going to go home with a lot of merchandise today. You know? Don't, he'll be having you try to sell this at your show. Don't listen to him. You don't have we'll, to. We'll get into that later, Matt. This is, you know, not a good time for that. All, All right. right. You know what? Can you just, I, I don't even want to fucking wait. I don't want to fuck around. I'm wondering if you'll just play a song right out of the gate. I definitely can play it. We saw a right show on. the other night. Fucking incredible. <clears throat> what are you going to play for us? Uh, the title track, Honest Man. Honest Wreck man. it. Uh, Wreck it. Why don't you just listen? 
brought out here for an honest man. I keep trying, I keep trying to do all I can. Holy fuck, that's got some crazy chords in it, too. I was trying to watch it there, because I'm going to learn that one. Maybe I'm, you can show me after. My hands do weird things. They don't really make, they're just kind of like sausages. So. <laughs> well, they're good, good sausages. They're good sausages, though. Good kind. Though, right. good kind. <laughs> Ricky. Yeah, that was awesome. What? Ricky, did you see the new uh, ice maker I put in the fridge? Try it out. What are you talking about? Look. Oh, nice, Bob. Right got one on. of those installed, you know, the ones. No fucking way. Yeah. How does it work? You just, you know, Ricky, you just push it in and the ice falls out. Ah, fuck. <laughs> Bob's. <laughs> it's a magnet, Ricky. <laughs> fuck. That was a good one, man. <laughs> that was a fucking good one, I knew man. you'd like that, Ricky. That's so dumb, man. Fuck. That's so fucking dumb. <sighs> okay, boys. All right, Buzz, what do you want to talk about? Let's get some funny shit going here. Yeah, let's see what Matt wants to talk about. What do you want to talk about? <laughs> you got anything to talk about? Not really. Anything crazy? You want to hear some crazy, crazy? things? I'd love to hear something crazy, though. Some crazy stuff we heard on the internet. You want to hear something crazy, Ricky? Yeah, I do. I knew you would love this one. Did you guys know this? Crocodiles swallow rocks to dive deeper. <laughs> see? That's an animal who thinks he's smart, and he's fucking dumb. That's well, a good idea. Mean? He's going to fucking... How the fuck can I be heavier? Mm -hmm. Oh, look at those rocks. Swallows him down, fucking goes deeper. Then all of a sudden, he's like, ah, oh, fuck. Now I've got to shit those rocks out. Dumb animal. Because I'm not going to feel good coming out. Trust me, I've been there. Well, maybe they throw them. He throws up the, the rocks. So you think he's dumb because he doesn't think it out. He doesn't think far enough ahead. He's a crocodile. He only thinks about part one. You should be thinking about part two and part three. The pain. But how do you know? Maybe he regurgitates them. Maybe what, he's, you know. What, what do you, you think? Uh, why does he want to go deeper? Hey, see yeah, that? Yeah. Different take on it right there. <laughs> that was deep. Why does he want to go deeper, Ricky? Bigger animals deeper you go, or bigger fish, maybe. Or there could be something dead at the bottom of the lake or whatever, and then he wants to get down there, and he can't. Did I you, think it's pretty smart that he... Did you throw somebody in the lake? I didn't throw somebody in the lake. Sounds like but it's pretty smart that a, fuck, that a crocodile has, you know, that's pretty smart. I'm going to fucking swallow some rocks so I can go deeper. It's going to make me heavier. It's pretty fucked I bet after the first time he did it, though, then he started swallowing a bunch of tiny rocks so they come out easier. Because if you fucking eat a big rock, I'm telling you, it's not going to feel pleasant. Yeah, it's probably a mistake the first time. Have you ever eaten a big rock, Ricky? I've eaten some rocks. <laughs> I knew he was going to say that. Well, when I was younger, you know, you just eat different things. And you try them out. I thought rocks might help with the indi... indi... Uh, objection, or what, what's it called? Indi indigestion. Yes. You thought a rock would help so out. So <laughs> as a small child, you had bad indigestion? Yep. You thought, fuck, maybe if I eat some rocks. I eat everything to try to sell that shit down. It didn't work anyway. And coming out, not good at all, especially the ones that have edges. Anyway, that's a pretty fucked up fact. I'm just wondering why you had such bad indigestion as a kid. Really? Ray. It's fucking Ray's We ate a lot of weird <laughs> shit, Bob's. Butter and sugar sandwiches. I never ate a butter and sugar sandwich in my life. It's not very good. Sounds like it would be. All right, you got anything else that's more exciting than dumb fucking alligators? Well, am I the only one that prepared anything? I, 
I do have a few things here, man, but I lost them. We could talk. Did you guys order your Tom Tato plants? My what? Remember I said ketchup chips would be great if you could grow a fucking plant? I had the fucking potatoes and the tomatoes on the same plant, and you thought I was fucking the head? They have them now. They have a fucking plant. Came out and over in the country across the ocean. Called a Tom Tato. It grows tomatoes and fucking potatoes in the same plant. I could have made, been a fucking billionaire. And you said I was an idiot. I never said you were an idiot. I would have said that was a great idea. So now you get a plant, fucking grow your potatoes and your tomatoes, and you make ketchup chips. One fucking plant. Are you fucking serious, man? Look it up. Tom Tato plant. Tom Tato plant. Tom Tato plant. Yep. Do it. Well, Ricky, even if you had invented the Tom Tato plant, it doesn't mean you can make ketchup chips off of one plant. Well, you'd have everything you need. Just potatoes and tomatoes. That's all that's in a ketchup chip. Pretty much. That's what they make ketchup out of, Bob's tomatoes, in case you didn't know. So how do they make, how do they turn the tomato into that little red dust, Ricky? I guess they dry it out and put it through like a <coughs> screen, maybe, like you do when you're making hash. So wouldn't they just be called tomato chips at that point? I never really thought it out that far. It exists though, doesn't it? Yeah, you're right. I, I can't fuck with the buffs. It. it actually, the tomatoes grow on like the vine and the potatoes grow in the soil. Oh, attached shit. Attached to the same plant. Okay, that makes sense. So that's what sense. I was thinking. I was thinking like potatoes hang in there. Like that's tomatoes. what I thought too. I thought it would look like that. See, that's stupid right, right. there. That's like potatoes don't, don't grow that way, Ricky. Look at that. It's close. See this? That's close. what we're dealing with on yeah. a daily basis right here. There's... Because that's what I was figuring. How the fuck do potatoes grow in the air when they're used to growing underground because they don't like the light? Yeah, that makes more sense. Smart fucking guy that did that. Yeah, he is actually a pretty smart guy. <laughs> did you hear about that cocksucker that wanted to cross the uh, Caribbean? It's not a lake. An ocean? Is it a Caribbean ocean? Yeah, the sea. Well, he wanted to cross it in one of those floating water wheels. Did you see this guy? I saw him on TV. He looked fucked. But I don't know if he made it, if he drowned, or if his floating water wheel fucking burst. Or... Did you hear about him, Bob? No. I thought you'd be fascinated with him. What did he do? He got in a water wheel. What's floating a water, water wheel, wheel he invented. It looks fucking like a big hamster thing. And he was going to cross the Caribbean lake with it. In a clear amp hamster ball? It was similar to that, yeah. And it was clear? Yep. So he cocked himself then, probably. I don't know. I don't know if he made it. That's what I was asking you. I don't have a clue. All right. Fucking Jesus. Do you guys have anything then? This is real exciting, well, guys. Maybe we should talk to Matt here, guys. That's a good he's, idea. He's sitting here, and you guys are fucking going on about hamster <laughs> wheels and fucking tomato potato plants. I want to know so what far. he gave okay. us to smoke. That's why. Well, no shit. Now, that, I tell, it's fucking everything up, Ricky. It's the 20 days of 420. Do you want to be part of it or not? I am part of it. Excellent. Right now. I didn't realize I was part of it until it was too late. So where's your favorite place to play, or do you have one? My favorite place to play? I love playing the East Coast. Yeah. yeah. Halifax is good. Always good here. Yep. Nice. Awesome. Where's the craziest place you played, like? Uh, a prison. A prison? Yeah, <laughs> played a prison. What, Johnny Cash? Just, well, yeah, kind of like that. Where? What prison? It was in Washington. That's crazy. It was nice. great, yeah. Did it get rowdy, or? It did. Anyone get shanked? Nobody gets shanked. They all wanted my broken guitar strings, though. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's good. Yeah. yeah we'll stuff in that. Saw your bars open. Tattoos, that's what I was told. Tattoos, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, big and high yep. string. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Right. Ah. So you've toured all over the world, man. That's pretty cool. That's great. I love it. How many days a year are you putting in? Uh, uh, 250 shows a year. Holy shit. Oh, fuck. Hardest working man in show business. That's crazy. So you play, like, what's your favorite place, you know, around the world to play? Like, you know, other than Scotland. East Coast of Canada, Scotland. Scotland, Scotland. Yeah. 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 Yeah, they get pretty Scotland. rowdy on the liquor. They get there, rowdy. Right? Good scotch. Good cheese. They get it all. You ever play any like crazy kind? Not crazy, but like you know, countries you wouldn't think you ever would have played. Prague. Prague, oh, that's yeah. pretty awesome. Yep. Where's that? That was in uh, Czech Republic. That was probably one of the greatest places I've ever been to. Yep. Czech Republic, Ricky, over in Europe near Russia. I know where it is. 
I know my countries. You do, do you? Some of them, yeah. I don't think I'd like to go there now, though, based on what he's saying. Based on what? He said it's pretty different there. Why wouldn't you want to go, man? Is it worth going, or is it? I love it. There's oh, okay. you know, castles everywhere. Oh, that oh, sounds that's fucking cool. cool. Great beer in Europe. <laughs> You're fucked, aren't you, Bob? I am. <laughs> <laughs> I absolutely am. I'm not denying it. All right. Oh, yeah, here's one I thought you might find interesting. Ricky? Really? How many cans of soda do you think the average person drinks a year? <laughs> This goes for Canada and the U.S. Me personally, or on the, an average? The average person. Uh, ten thousand. No, that's high. Ten thousand. That's very that high. That would be. Yeah, that's high. Okay. Uh, That'd be like a couple cases a day. A hundred. No, it's more than that. Six hundred. Six hundred. Doesn't that seem fucking high to you? 600 cans of pop a year? That is a lot. That's like almost two a day. I don't drink any cans of pop. Yes, you do. I've seen you drink pop lots of times. What do you mean? Well, I, yeah, but not cans. Well, so Ricky, they're just... Like, my answer would have been zero. How many cans of pop do you drink a year? None. But you drink pops. Yeah, well, mix and stuff. Well, I think what they're saying, Ricky, is this is they're just giving you a... A volume reference. Well, that's low. So they're not saying what they drink it out of. I don't it's think. more than three a day when you th think about it. Just mix alone. Oh, yeah, mix. If you if you include the whole mix thing, man, that's yeah, a lot. You, of probably drink. you drink beer, hard liquor with mix. With mix? Hard liquor with mix. Hard liquor with yeah. mix. See, I wasn't, I didn't factor in the mix. I wasn't thinking of that. I was thinking they were talking, you know, you just go drink a, but if you're so talking So this must mix, be this the thing. average person that doesn't consume with alcohol. You think? You think it'd be over 600 with mix? Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, definitely. That's only yeah. three a day, Bubs. I mean, that's what? Ten drinks? On a weekend, you're 15, 30 drinks. That's a lot of, on that's a night. Lot of mix. On a night, on a week, yeah. You're Good right. factor in Christmas holidays. Christmas is well. All the holidays, you, you double up on it those times. So, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking more like 1,500 a year. Is more of an average. That was exciting, Bubs. Yeah, Good thanks, one. Bubs. That was well, I just exciting. wanted to know what everybody thought. Pardon me. No, it was good. You should get facts that are right, though. That's fucking wrong. That was way wrong, man. Okay, you want to hear a fucking fact that's right? I'll tell you a fact that's right. <coughs> oh, fuck, that one. I didn't even see that there. We are going to talk about Prince. Prince Donna. Oh, fuck, I know, man. Were you a Prince fan? I was a Prince fan. He was unbelievable. Yeah. Guitar player. Absolutely. Songwriter, singer. Uh, everybody Amazing. keeps dying, so I'm going to have to do a Prince tribute now on Guitar Lessons with Bubble Show. I'm going to have to do a Prince tribute. Maybe you come on with me. We could both dress up like Prince. I could dress up like Prince. We could, yeah. We yeah, could I could like do that. that. All right, that'd be nice, guys. It'd be a very nice thing to do for Prince. Did you guys... Oh, yeah, I wanted to bring this one up, too, Ricky. The new smart mattress that's out. Did you see that? No. There's a smart mattress out. Yeah. And it hooks to your phone, and you can tell if anybody's banging in your bed. It's got sensors in it. But you're going to know if you're banging in your bed, right? No, but you're if somebody there. else is. Why would somebody else bang in your bed, Bubs? I don't know, Ricky. So I can tell if, you know, we're going out for the day, and you decide to break into my trailer and... You're in there pounding someone in my bed. I'll, or if I'll know that. Like I don't care. Well, I'm just, I just okay, Rick. No, but what's it. the pur purpose of it? Just can it tell the difference make between me learn. someone jumping up and down on it, or is it just? It's, it's if just somebody is, you know, if your husband or your wife is banging somebody in your bed. Oh, okay, I get it now. It's then, alerts you on your phone and. The metrics on it, it, does, it has a speedometer, and one of the things is impacts per minute. That's what it monitors. Like the force or the... Uh, the speed. Okay. Well, it might be good to have that just for yourself, so you know, see how you That's what I was thinking to myself. That's why I wanted to bring it up to you. I thought you might want to get one. And but it would kind of suck. You, like to... you know, you're at work or robbing a place, and your phone goes off. And, oh, great. 
Lucy's teeing off on someone. Awesome. Like, maybe you're better off not knowing. Maybe you shouldn't know. You definitely shouldn't get one of these mattresses right But it would be good to use while you're doing it. You could fuck around. You could watch it while you're doing it and get your speed changing and different impact <laughs> pressures. Wow. You got to monitor that stuff. You got to know. You think so? You Go think on. it's a advantageous <laughs> thing to have? I think it could be. Yeah. Or not. <laughs> but yeah, what a weird invention. So what is it, like a little bug, that, an electronic bug that's in the... Uh, the bed? Yeah, that's what it is, Ricky. Electronic bug. electronic bug that walks around in there. Little electronic bug named Darren. Then they, is that the guy that invented it? Yeah. Clever. <laughs> that's not good, Bubs. Got to have something better for us today, man. Well, well look who has nothing. This was handed well, to me by an unidentified <clears throat> person, so I don't know. I don't know why it's all up to me. I thought you were going to be Mr. Hey, I'm going to have stuff this time. That's what you told us. And now you're looking like an idiot. What? What did you guys say? You were, were going about? on about how you were going to be taking charge today and you haven't done Well, anything. I've been trying to, but then you, you smoke one of his st stupid fucking joints and you're ruined for the rest of the day. No, you're better for the rest of the day. I don't, I seriously don't know how you live like this all day it's and all wonderful. night. It's wonderful. It's wonderful. I did, like, I'm trying to get something done, and I can't do it. Exactly. You know what I think we should do? Let's get Matt to play another song. Sure. What do you think of that? Let's <laughs> do it. That. that would be awesome. What's the song? Is this also on the CD? It is. This is from Honest Man. What's it called? Quiet Company. Quiet Company, track number five. On Honest Man, here it is, Matt Anderson. Can't see the road, it don't matter where you're going. Get out of the cold, you can come on in and stay with me for a while. Wood for the fire, soup on the go, the moon's coming up, and you're a long way from home. You can come on in and stay with me for a while. There's nothing but the sound of the rain coming down And my quiet company Park by the road, walk up the drive If I'm out in the garden, you can let yourself inside Make yourself at home and stay with me for a while Don't need to call if you're just passing by The key's under the stone, second from the right You can come on in and stay with me for a while When you're here with me It's as safe as you can be there's nothing but time, so ease your mind. And my quiet comes in. Drift off to sleep I'll tend the fire While you sweetly dream You can close your eyes And stay with me for a while 
You can close your eyes and stay with me for a while It'll be just fine if you stay with me for a while Fuck! Decent! Awesome, man. Decent! Unbelievable fucking boys! Nice. Yeah, man, Unbelievable crazy. playing! That's not what he's doing there. It's, I can't even describe to you fucking how hard that is to do what he's doing. You know, I'm like totally fascinated with your voice. Could you do just like some little bluesy thing where you're just wailing? Like you don't even have to do a whole song. Just do a little fucking, I just want to hear you. I want to hear you belt something. Every day, every day, every day I have the blues. the blues When you see me that holly baby you that I hate to lose <laughs> Can you imagine if he went on in one of those shows, like the voice, the fucking chairs would explode. <laughs> the chairs would blow, they'd turn around and go, holy fuck! <laughs> Who's this guy? Sign him up! I'd love to see Tom Jones say that. That'd be amazing. <laughs> That'd be amazing. So how many shows you got coming up in the U.S.? Uh, about 25 coming up on this run. Wicked. What part of the U.S. are you going to be in? Midwest and going down into Texas and the California, coming back up. All right, so if you're watching this down there or anywhere, actually, or listening to it, check out, what's your website? Where can they see the... Stubbyfingers.ca. That's your website? That's my website. You don't have stubby fingers, do you? Well, they're not. Yeah, I think so. Well, they're... Like we said, they're good ones. They're sausages. Stubbyfingers.ca, check out the tour dates. Check them out live. Unbelievable. <laughs> right on, Matt. Thanks. Thank you very much, brother. Yeah, I'll try to. All right, that works. Sorry Ricky got us so big this time, man. Ricky? What? What the fuck happened? You know what happened. Didn't I tell you? Well, I thought you were joking. <clears throat> I was letting my grandson play with my hammer, and, uh, my fingers were on the table, and he just whacked them, broke them. Letting him play with your hammer? He broke two fingers. Clean yeah. breaks or? Smash breaks. Smash, oh, fuck. Ricky. What? That's not what you told me to happen. Well, we're not going to talk about that on this thing, are we? What, is there a part B to the story? Well, when I heard the story, there was no hammer involved. <laughs> Ricky right. just called me up, or he yelled out the window. And he said he had a finger in accident. <laughs> a finger in accident. That's what you yelled to me, Ricky. Yeah. Well, that may or may not have been what happened. It could have either been my grandson playing with a hammer or it could have been a finger in accident. Lucy may or may not have got bit by a bug in the middle of something and jerked forward really crazily hard and bent two fingers back to their maximum position, touching the back of my hand. Maybe nice. that could have been what happened to you. I don't remember. Sounds awfully detailed, doesn't it, Matt? It's, it's probably something that might not could've... have happened. That's a lot of detail. Yeah, we could have we could have talked about this after that. We were just wrapping up the podcast. We could have just ended it and then had like bubbles you know. had to bring it up, didn't he? Well, I'm sorry, Ricky. It's all right. Sorry, I mean... sorry, Lucy. For well, no, I'm not sorry. Sorry to Mo for telling everybody that he broke my when, fingers when he didn't. All right, blaming it on his grandson. Okay, let's let's have a cheers here, boys. Thanks, Matt and fucking amazing, Matt, for coming in. Come yeah. by. Good luck at the tour, awesome. brother. Like a little private concert. That was wicked. And I just want to make one little announcement on the way out of the podcast. This whole thing, Julian, done. What do you mean? It's done. What do you mean it's done? Hey, Bubs, I have, I'll cheers to that. No more Jacasa. Done. No. Nope. You tricked me today. Made me. Made me look stupid, so guess what? That's done. Yeah. And good night. Right. Oh, we're gonna be fucking talking about this, man. A lot of fucking work into this shit. Hey, man, so the fuck down. Yeah, who's yeah. trying to make money on this goddamn fucking thing? You huh? just fucking broke my lazy Doreen. Mm -hmm.